Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. It's been a little while, and I'm going to talk about that today, why it's been a little while since my last Painting with Jay, but that's okay. I've been working hard on terrain, but it's been all airbrushing, so there's no real no point in, um, in filming it. So, I'm now working on my next project. I've decided to work on Necrons. I'm going to finish up all my Necrons like I did with the Tyranids, and that way I can um, just get them all done off my out of my workshop and into battle reports. I've been enjoying I've already played one game with the new Tyranids, uh, Tyranids the new Necrons, and uh, we'll go from there. As I said, I have tons of models to paint, so let's get started. Yes, as always, Adam, you missed a spot. Mm-hmm. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna be painting some Necron uh, Tomb Blades today. Working on the, the Silvers first, because of course that is, now here's an example of the like the magic of TV. This one is what my color scheme is gonna be. I'm gonna use an airbrush after to just, you know, do all the glowing effects and all that stuff, which is cool, as you can see. So that's my, my Tomb Blade. So I'm gonna use that as a reference point today. Um, I painted that guy a while ago, so it's been fun to get back to Necrons. Um, I've taken a break from tr from miniatures for a while and painted terrain for my battle reports. Mostly miniature uh, terrain from uh, Death Ray Designs. It's awesome terrain. I'm going to make a video probably later this week um, showing off the terrain that I'm working on. It's from their, um, oh, what's it called? Black Assault. Um, I always forget the name. But uh, I'll definitely ever show it off later. It's really nice terrain. I had a lot of fun working on it. It's all MBF, and um, it's from their uh, Rapid Vanguard. Rapid Vanguard is what I was thinking of. So it will be a lot of fun to use that in battle reports. I've already started using it in one. Of my, in a, you'll see it in my in a battle report I filmed the other day against uh, Trevor. It was a lot of fun. Trevor brought. Um, Thousand Suns, which I've never faced since I haven't faced Thousand Suns since oh, like 5th edition my friend Andy plays Thousand Suns um, so it was really fun, good game um, holy moly um, what's his name Magnus the Red he's good very good my LP could be the best but um yeah, he's awesome. So, so today I am going to be just working on these guys. I'm working. I'm using some new brushes as well. I'm working on using new brushes. Um, trying to increase the quality of my brushes because I've been working with really beaten up brushes for a long time. These are called Medans. Uh, they're just sable brushes. And got them for a good price. But it's been a little while, and I missed painting with Jays. The only problem was with my... Hmm, let me just make sure that that was metallic. Yes, it was. Um, when I was doing terrain, very, very little of it was with a hand brush. And so I had the, I, I either had to, you know, paint with a hand brush, which I didn't really want to. I liked doing it with, you know, with an airbrush. It was much faster with terrain. And... So I just took a break from painting with Jays and airbrushed a lot of terrain in my spare time and I'm back to miniatures, which is cool. Right, the goal is to rid our world of unpainted models, but with models comes terrain. And you gotta get both done, right? You gotta get both done. Um, yeah, that's all I'm saying. You gotta get both done to whatever standard you want. And then I'm gonna, I said I'm gonna do what I did with my Tyranid army. I'm gonna work on Necrons now because I still have about uh, about a thousand to fifteen hundred points. I haven't really gauged how many points. I think I estimate it's probably the way I'm gonna use it, thirteen hundred and something points worth of Necrons that need to be painted. So I figured since the Codex just came out, uh, it's a pretty safe um, army to paint right now. There's not a you know I'm going to be eventually doing Orcs. Orcs is actually my biggest project. But orcs are going to be put on the back burner for a little while due to um, there's no codex yet. And I want to wait till the new codex. I have so many models with orcs that I can still have a good time and, and be competitive with the new codex. 
I just want, oh, sorry, not the new codex, the new uh, data sheet, you know, from 7th edition, or 8th edition. But um, I just, I really want to wait for the new codex to make any, uh, like a lot of these models, they would need to be assembled in certain ways. So I might as well, you know, have the actual information with me before I assemble them. That way they're not, you know, nerfed months after doing it. Now, as I said, the new Orc Codex probably isn't, in, you know, in the short term. Next Codex is going to be Imperial Knights. Yeah. And I really should start doing Codex reviews. I haven't been able to get, in, get the codices the weekend of launch. So, like, I wanted to get the Death Watch Codex to do a review. But none of the stores in my area got the Codex for launch day. They all got it the following week. And by that point, I figured, no, maybe I'll do a... Like a thoughts of it later on but uh yeah i couldn't even get it for launch so it was kind of a moot point at that point because all the information was already online you know and uh yeah upstairs in the faint distance the blue jays are getting their butt handed to them by the red Sox. they are not playing well this year lots of injuries just not a lot of playing i think they're going to disassemble the team that's my saying probably another month or two they'll start trading away their better players um and go from there let's do a rebuild it's unfortunate because we're in the same division as yankees and red sox and both of them are insane this year it doesn't look like they'll be going anywhere anytime soon so it's really unfortunate because even them like yankees and red sox one of them's gonna get the wild card and we have a situation where, you know, you could win 100 games in a season and play for a single game elimination spot. It's crazy. And then if you win the wild card game, you end up playing the best team in the division, in the league, sorry, on your, on your side. And that would most likely be the other team. So, if you, for example, if the Yankees win, the odds are that, or sorry, the Yankees have the wild card. The odds are they're going to face the Red Sox first round and they have... And the, the Red Sox would have home field advantage. So, crazy. Summer's coming. Right now in Canada, it's been really warm and nice. Uh, we've had the craziest weather lately. Um, yeah, craziest weather. We had a windstorm. Uh, there was a crazy rain windstorm. Uh, a couple a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and unfortunately, my neighbor's shed uh, fell. Sorry, my neighbor's. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm off my. I'm because I'm painting while talking. My neighbor's tree fell on my shed. There we go. That's the the correct answer. Neighbor's tree fell on my shed. Now we were thinking of replacing the shed, so it was kind of a catalyst. We're not even going to go through insurance. We're just going to do it. You know, we kind of, we were looking at new sheds and we're like, all right, fine, let's just do it. We have a really good relationship with our neighbor. He's a good guy. In fact, he actually, he was the one who sold us our house. Um, he owned the, both houses next to each other. But uh, yeah, neck runs now. That'll be cool. The new neck runs are fun. They're, um, I'm just going to put that down for a second. Right there, so it doesn't. These new sable brushes are really nice. I like the way they keep their tip. I'm, of course, using my brush cleaner to make sure that they keep it. Um, right now, I'm using a one because it's easy to paint. These guys would be cool. Necrons are fun. I feel like they're a little expensive. I don't know. I find I, maybe it's it, 1500 points is a hard points level to play the new Necrons on. But um, I do find myself fu running short on points very quickly. You know, Necrons, they really shine in large squads. So, like, squads of 20 um, warriors, right? Because with the new rules, you want to keep them alive. If the 
squad gets eliminated, they don't pick back up. So, but that is a huge point cost. Um, what I really love about the new uh, Codex, of course, Catan shards are still awesome. Like they are easily my favorite unit in the Codex. Um, yeah, they're awesome. They just kick butt. They, you know, but it is cool. And as I said, there's um, they are really good at attrition. I don't find them particularly overpowered for shooting. You know, they're not bad. Um, but I don't find them that, you know, extremely overpowered. They just survive. And then they get back up again. But, um... Yeah. You know, that's, that's just kind of it. But they're fun. They're fun. Um, I'm... I'm excited to, you know, finish up all my Necrons and paint them over the next couple months. Probably won't be a couple months. Probably, yeah, maybe it will be. It'll be a busy summer. It'll be a, definitely a busy summer. Um, work has been kicking my butt lately. I've been exhausted after work. And my job, I work really late. Not really late, but I'm working until 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, many days a week. And it's hard. It's definitely tiring. The location that I'm at now has significantly worse hours than the location I used to work at. It's close to my house, which is nice. You know, I have a job, so I'm trying to keep myself positive on that. But, um... I'm gonna have I'm gonna have six more tomb blades painted. Um, I'm painting up six tomb blades at the moment, so I'll have a squad of nine. I also pick, I did purchase the forge bane. I had it ordered a while ago. Um, the forge bane set, so I'll be painting up you know the wraiths from it. Um, I don't remember if it has can uh, it says wraiths you know some mortals. The new crypt tech. I figured it was a good investment, so I did. And then yeah, so I'll paint these guys, and then I'll go to the next army that I want to paint. And I've narrowed down to a couple. Um, I could do gray knights if I wanted to finish up, like do the same thing that I'm doing right now with necrons. There aren't. There's literally not too much for me to paint with gray knights. I might just spend a month reassembling and fixing up. The reason why I haven't used them a lot lately is they're a really beaten up army. I've used them over the years and they were my travel army. They were my travel army for many wargaming. So I've, um, they've gotten really beaten up. I should, I should spend some time fixing them up, getting them back to nice, you know, that's been really cool. I'm it. I'm slowly whittling down the number of boxes that I have in my workshop. It's still a little significant, but um, it's getting there, you know, box at a time, I'm knocking out of my workshop. I assemble these tomb blades, throw out another box. I'm hoping that you guys out there and girls out there in internet land are having the same situation, just constantly working towards your goal. And I have purchased some models lately, not too many, but that's okay. I've definitely painted more this year than I have um, purchased. And it's been good. Yeah, this is definitely not a, not the year. I was hoping it could be a year, but that I run out of painted mo uh, models to paint, but I doubt that. I think that's a pipe dream. But we'll keep going all together and rid our world slowly and surely. Button painted models. This whole video is probably just going to be me doing the metallics. It's been 13 minutes already, and I'm, I'm almost done one. Um, let me just compare. Yeah, I think that's it. All the silvers that I intended. I'm just comparing, you know, 
finished versus not finished. Airbrushing and Necrons are fun. I also really want to order this line of paints, which I, I'm going to wait to paint a couple models. Um, I want to order these line of paints. I have two types of paints that I'm going to do reviews on in the near future. One of them I just ordered and I'm waiting for them. It's the uh, Chameleon line of paints from uh, Green Stuff World. They're really cool. I think they'd be really cool with, with Necrons because they are metallic that... Um, they're metallic paints that color shift depending on the light when it hits them. So I figured that'd be really cool to do a couple Necron things with them. And the other one that I haven't really had a chance to use a lot lately, but I want to do a full review on them too, is a Metalsmith. The really cool new uh, metallic line for airbrushes from uh, from Reaper, not Reaper, from Badger. I got a set when I was at um, Adepticon, and uh, can't wait to show them off. They're really cool. The reason why I call Metalsmith is that you can they come with a variety of ingredients, and you create your own metallics that are airbrush ready, right out of the pot. Like it's it's uh, right out of the bottle technically, but that's pretty cool stuff. And with metallics, metallics are kind of the harder, you know, as those who airbrush a lot, metallics can be the challenge. Metallics and whites tend to be the, the hardest for, with, as far as how the pigment reacts to airbrushing. So it's been, I, I want to show you guys these, um, these paints. I have some models to show them off on, I think. Yeah. Yeah, summer's definitely coming. You know, it just it's we I felt like we didn't really have much of a spring. It was a really cold spring a lot of the time. We, had, we still had snow in April. And then the worst storm that I think one of the worst storms we had hit in April. And then May's been really warm. You know, it's shorts and t-shirt weather outside. And Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm slowly getting some videos out. I, you know, I've been able to move some of my painting tutorials to the free to my uh, main content now. Now that the warp is been long done, and I'm moving my uh, airbrush 101 series, which I'm really hoping people enjoy. Um, it's a, I filmed it a long time ago, but it still applies really well, and yeah, I think people are going to hopefully get something from it. That's what I want, you know, as long as the videos are helpful. I think I filmed like 45 videos for it, so that'll keep, uh, busy. I just need to re... Yeah, I might need to refilm some of the intros because I did my old workshop. I filmed them a while ago, as I said. But it's been okay that I can just take some content that I've worked really hard on in the past and move it to the main content. Now, the other option was to just release it for the warp. But I didn't want to. I want to, I want to just keep one channel. Much easier to work on. One channel. Um, yeah, a couple more miniature painting one ones left, and then I'll probably take a break from those and or work on. Yeah, once I'm done this army, I think I have a couple more videos that I can make for miniature painting one one. Yeah, definitely have a few more ideas. Plus, I also go back to just some suggestions, whatever you guys want. Whatever you want to see. Yeah, 
this, but it'll probably just be me doing the silvers. I'm hoping to get these done over the next week or so. It's not too hard because they're Necrons, right? But uh, yeah, I said I think I have about 13, 14 or points of Necrons that I can paint up over the next little while, and we'll go from there. You know. good yeah and this is I've got no five or six videos so far this month and there should be I'm gonna get a battle report out because I have I'm doing a monthly battle report of course so there'll definitely be a battle report it's the one I filmed um, at Adepticon against Mikey that'll be good um, and that'll be out this week at some point what else yeah the Airbrush 101 series will be coming out one video at a time for the next little while. Yeah, I have 40 videos, so that'll be... Which is good. I will create new content as well. Like, I'm creating new battle reports, and eventually I want to do some new painting tutorials. I just, um, I've not been really busy. You know, I've been, my channel, which most of you are probably well aware, has been slowly kind of dying which is really unfortunate because I worked so hard, but um, my job's been busy, you know, and I, I do work on it when I can. I really do. And I really do appreciate all my Patreon subscribers. And as I said, if you're ever considering supporting my videos, check out my Patreon. I do ask you very politely, but um, you know, it's what keeps me doing battle reports, which is basically my new content. I chew charge per battle report. I do one a month right now. But it helps keep my, my content coming. That gives me, you know, some time to set aside and film and edit. Um, I do have tons of painting tutorials that I can move over to my main content. Or to my content, I guess. But it's been focusing on all the painting. I do want to start a couple new series of videos, which I will eventually. I need to paint get my, my battle report room slightly better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes. 22 minutes in. This is good. So depending on how much we can get done this part, I'll definitely you know shade these guys today, dry brush a couple silvers, and then... Uh, it's pretty much golden green after that. It's not a whole lot of colors. I'm just going to grab my Sotar 2020 and kind of go to town on these. Um, really get them done effectively and really nicely. That's what. The benefit of using an airbrush. But of course, as I said today, I, I wanted to get, I really wanted to get a painting with Jay back up. And. Let's see, Peterborough, there's a Music Fest coming up. Um, they've announced the lineup. Adam, you missed another spot there. Um, the lineup's actually really good this year. A lot of, it's mostly Canadian bands, which are good. Um, the big bands this year, like Magic, a band from Toronto, but they're they're known for their song Rude, a reggae band. Uh, they're good. Uh, the Trues are a really good al you know, alternative band from, from this area. Um, Winter Sleep, I believe they're from, I could be wrong, I think they're from Nova Scotia, but they're really good, I like them. Um, Flock of Seagulls, the 80s band, known for their wacky hair that sang the song I Ran. They're coming <laughs> on a big reunion tour. Uh, the original, like, 80s lineup. I might even go see them, why not? Couple country groups that my girlfriend is really looking forward to seeing. Good. 
two down. Look at that. All right, that's not bad. So as I said, after this process, I'll have six, um, six more tomb blades. So that'll give me nine tomb blades. That'll be fun for battle reports. They're a fun little, you know, little group. Um, I want to get some more wraiths done next. I think next I'll do wraiths. So that way I can have a squad of uh, six wraiths. They're, once again, they're pretty hardcore. Wraiths are awesome. Race, you know, they're, they're very survival, three up invulnerable save. Of course, unless you face an army that removes invulnerable saves. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But, um, yeah, they're, they're good. They're pretty scary. Catans are awesome. I have my Catan. Shard of the Nightbringer. Yeah, it's a nice day out. I'm gonna go for a walk later. I still play a little bit of Pokemon Go. I don't play as much as I used to, just because the dynamics are getting a little boring. And um, yeah, the group here in Peterborough. I'm guessing they're like other places. They're really hardcore. And yeah. And again, I just don't have a lot of time. I've been spending my free time. I have done a lot of terrain. I'll show you guys the video. You know, I'll do an, um, a video showing off what I've been painting, from, especially all the stuff from Death Ring. But um, I've been focusing, I don't know, a lot on the tangible, just spending time with my girlfriend, enjoying life, you know, painting, uh, getting my terrain done. I would love, as I said, I'd love to clear out, you know, a couple shelves of models from my workshop that, I, that are in all the boxes and just paint up the models, have them done. Use them battle reports, do what they're designed to do. You know, I bought them originally to play, and that's what they need to be done. And so these Necrons will take me, as I said, probably a I don't know, month or two. Like this week alone, I could probably get these Tomb Blades done, and then I'll start on the Wraiths. Um, what else do I have? Wraiths, uh, what are they called? Praetorians, I think. Some Praetorians would be cool. And um, a squad of immortals, another 10 warriors or 12 warriors. Uh, I do, I was given as a gift from uh, my friend Josh, actually, when I hung out with him in Indianapolis a while ago, a long time ago. He gave me an extra Emotech and another Overlord and Trazen. I'll paint up definitely, um, I thought I'd paint up at least a couple of them. The Overlord especially, that guy's going to paint it up for sure. You can always have more Overlords. Especially mine are the, like one of mine is the old, uh, you know, the old fine cast one and the, the staff. Oh, they're brutal. Fine cast is brutal with staffs. So both the staff is smashed and stuff. So I don't really want to use him. So another, um, I have him right here. Let me just clean off my brush here because I'm gonna need to reload my, my paint into my palette. I ran out of paint. Um, I have, let's see him, yeah. 
Here he is. So he'll be really cool to paint up. I think it looks awesome. He's the one from the uh, the Catacomb Command Barge. Um, <laughs> so I have the Catacomb Command Barge also. Um, yeah, a few things. Because hmm, Necrons. That's cool. You know, that's awesome. So I'll paint them up over the next little while, get them all done. And then new army. You know, uh, probably Space Marines for another army. I don't even know yet. But um, maybe Imperial Knights. Because they're coming out. I have my Imperial Knight army. Imperial Knights are fun. They're not the most competitive. I don't think so. If your opponent has a good answer to them, they die. is with the way the D works. It's brutal. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, last cannon spam just takes him down. Or rockets. He's looking pretty good. As I said, it's been a fun, it's been a good time. Really busy, keeping a lot of, you know, we've done a lot of housework. Um, last year, you know, we moved in late in the summer and then the fall was really busy. So I've been actually cleaning up my, my, my workshops, getting things really organized. Um, we've done a lot of work around the house so far, a lot of spring cleaning, which is really good. We're really nice. It's nice to just rid the house of, you know, all these things that we don't need anymore. Um, my car, one of my cars is, is kind of on its last legs. I've been using it just to run, do dump runs. I'll get rid of it eventually. It's, it's not going to survive this year, but, um, it's done well. It's done really well. My good friends are gathering. Um, I was just checking in on that today. Um, my good friends, like Cody Rue and Mikey and all them, we're all they're all getting together in October, which I've you know firmly always called Orktober. But I will not be able to join them this year, unfortunately. I am well. It's it, it's unfortunate I can't join them, but I'm happy of the reason why I'm. I'm going on a little trip, and I don't get to go on little trips very often, other than, you know, I do get to go to conventions, that's awesome and stuff, I really do love going to conventions, um, and, uh, I'll see about Gen Con. So guys, if I can go to Gen Con this year. <laughs> but I'm going on a trip in October. It'll be a lot of fun. I'll go into more detail about that in a future video. I don't know all the details of it yet. But um, it'll be fun. My girlfriend and I are going to go. along. Look at him. There we go. Okay. 
think he's done. Good. These are very, you know, 3D-ish models. There was a lot of detail on them. Cool. Another one done. Clean this off that. Just gonna put the excess paint away. Because then I'll be painting more silver for at least a day or two. I need to get more sheets for my wet palette. But, um, that'll be good. Get these guys. So, how much time are we in? 35 minutes. So, how about next we'll hit them with a the shade. Hopefully that by that point the silver on this guy will be done. Uh, the paint just ex kind of exploded in my hand when I was putting the excess paint away. So there we go, just rub off the excess paint. Don't want to touch the model. I have those really cool stands, those uh, model holders from Games Workshop. I haven't had a chance to use them yet because I haven't been painting lately. Good. So, first, second guy, third guy. Let's get these guys washed. So, I'm going to take just a larger brush. This brush has done its job. And let's grab some non oil. I should definitely put down a maybe a little tar, yeah, just a piece of paper or my uh, paper towel because the amount of shade I don't want to just get on my deal. Let's do it. So, this part easy. So, non oil. Hit him with a nice heavy non oil shade. Cool. What else is happening? NHL playoffs? They're finally coming due, you know. Thing is, hockey is such a long playoff season. Baseball has, I know, by far the most games. But, oh my goodness, NHL playoffs, they just take forever. Uh, they're coming, you know, like, they always finish now in June. So it's late May. And it's, the finals, I think, start tonight. Tomorrow night. Uh, I don't think I'll be watching too much of it, but it's cool. In, se in the sense that Las Vegas has made the finals... <laughs> Brand new team. For those who don't know, Las Vegas Golden Knights are this year's expansion team. They did an expansion draft, so they, of course, chose players from each team. But these were the players that were kind of the rejects in a lot of the ways. Because in a, an expansion draft, what happens is each team can protect a certain number of players and must leave at least one player, uh, I think it's like two or, it ends up being like two or three. But they must leave at least a couple players vulnerable to be taken by another team. The, t the expansion team. And so, they Vegas really started off with their goalie. They chose Flurry from um, Pittsburgh. And they built their team. And again, they don't have a star defenseman, really. They just work really, really well. They're a team of rejects with really no expectations this year. And they've just done nuts. They, went, they were first in their division. They And now they made the Stanley Cup... Finals, and they're against Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals. Um, Ovechkin, he's, he's kind of cool. Like Ovechkin, he's one of those guys that, that he's been like, he's one of the most talented guys in the league, but he's never won a Stanley Cup. He's never even gone to the finals before. This is his first Stanley Cup finals, and the first couple finals for the Capitals, I think, in a long time, if not ever. So they're really cool. So we have, the thing is, this. Knight situation. I'm actually really happy for them. A lot of people I know are angry about it. How could, you know, a brand new team make it to the finals? I don't know. They just did it. It's a magical season, right? And of course that Vegas, Las Vegas, a desert team is going to, you know, possibly have the Stanley Cup. Um, for those of you who don't know, there were two teams that were actually, that applied for an expansion team. One of them was Quebec City. 
and one was Vegas. And of course they gave it to uh, Vegas because, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything, but uh, the commissioner really wants to get into the southern states more than, you know, another Canadian team that no American will give a crap about. Again, there are 10 times more Americans than Canadians, so they want to they wanna stretch the market as much as they can in the States. They know in Canada we're going to follow a team. We all will follow a team. So it's very hard to get expansion teams in Canada. We were very lucky to get the Jets, who actually did very well this year, too. They made it to the... Um, they made it to the Stanley, uh, the conference finals against, and then of course they lost against the Vegas Golden Knights. They, they, were, they have nothing to be ashamed about either. They played very, very well. And they're a solid team. But uh, it's just this fascinating situation where this team that has existed for eight months it has a very good chance, I think they're going to do it, of winning the Stanley Cup and being the champions. Versus, like, take the uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, who everyone likes to um, make fun of. Maple Leafs haven't won the Stanley Cup since they expanded the league past six teams in 1968. Their last time they won was 1967. So, you know, Maple Leafs, a dynasty, you know, in the sense that they're, like, the one, you know, their most watched team in the league, the most prosperous team, have not won the Stanley Cup in 51 years. Several teams have never been... Oh, sorry, I think the the um, Capitals have never won a Stanley Cup. I could be wrong. I don't think they've ever won a Stanley Cup. There's 12 teams that have never won the Stanley Cup. And meanwhile, we have this one team who just got created a year ago and just started playing together eight months ago they are on the verge of making history and being like the first expansion team in a big league to ever win. That's pretty awesome. So, that's pretty cool. So, my question to you guys and girls today, of course, is what are your summer plans? What do you want to do this summer? You know, I'm going to be inside a bit painting and outside a bit hanging out and barbecue. Oh, I love barbecue. Barbecue season is my favorite food season. Oh, oh, oh. You know, barbecues are awesome. We bought a new barbecue because my other barbecue kind of got eaten. You know that point where it gets eaten through? Like it kind of, there's a giant hole in the bottom? That, that happened. So we got a barbecue and it's burgers and hot dogs and we're doing salmon steaks. It's all, oh, it's good. Good food. I like barbecue season. I'm not a bad cook, but I like barbecue. Barbecues are good. Um, yeah, barbecue season is upon us. Um, I'm going to just relax. I think it'll be a good time. Go to some concerts. As I said, I'm going to figure out a Gen Con if I really want to go or if I have the time to go. Um, i got to figure out my vacation. That's what I'm going to actually do over the next couple days. Because I only get a certain number of days for vacation. And I'm going on a trip for about two weeks. Uh, we've already got a house sitter lined up. And someone to take care of my dog Spock. And my girlfriend's cat Jimmy. Who is... Anybody asks his name after Jimmy Fallon. And... Um, what else? Yeah. You know, I just want to enjoy my time this summer. Last summer was really, really busy. Um, I was working hard at my job, and moving took a lot out of me last summer. I felt like I was moving for a while. Probably because I was moving for a while. I decided to do the, you know, let's move by carload mentality, because both places were in Peterborough. And it took a long time, and it took a lot out of me. But this summer, I can kind of enjoy it. My, my house is pretty organized now. Not perfect, nowhere near where I need, want it to be, but it's, it's looking a lot nicer. So, have these guys already been... So, Magic of Television. These are the next three. Now, I, I think I did a painting with Jay with these guys a long time ago. So all I'm going to do is take a beat-up brush. Uh, where's my beat-up? Dry brush or like over brush, something beaten up. This beaten up brush, 
And I'm going to use this as the brush to do a quick, mm. an even more beaten up brush. Let me see here. That's toast. This one's kind of fun. Yeah, this one. I'm going to do a quick dry brush of these guys with Iron Breaker and then Rune Fang Steel. Might as well keep going. All right, 45 minutes. I haven't done like an hour of painting with Jay for a while. So you guys deserve it. <laughs> You know, hang out with some friends. Yeah. You know, just enjoy the summer. Summer's just awesome. It's an awesome season. And it's also the season where Peterborough comes alive. Spring and summer. And even fall sometimes in Peterborough. But Peterborough is uh, it's all about lakes and you know, riverways. And... Summertime is awesome. So... And I don't think I'm going to get it, but I applied for a promotion recently. I said, I don't think I'm going to get it. I might as well talk about it, but I don't care. It's, it's not jinxing. I don't care about jinxing or, you know, that kind of stuff. We'll see. If I get it, it's actually, it's a lot more responsibility, but better hours. And I'm not, it's not like one of those jobs where you say, oh yeah, better hours, but you come home and do your job all the time. No, no, no. I mean, it's actually better hours. So... More responsibility, but better hours. That's pretty cool. Um, I'd be excited to do that job, you know? So we'll see. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it'd be nice. You know, my current location of my job, I work Sundays, I work late nights. It's just tiring. Look at these guys. This one keeps me happy is when I can see the progress. Now getting these done is done, and I said all my tabletop would be just awesome. I'm really excited to have you know a giant squad of tomb blades that I can uh, work on, and I'm gonna get them done using battle reports, as I said. Yeah, new content will content will continue to come for my channel. I should differentiate that. I know I'm just saying dying is just based on the views and subscribers, and that's okay. Like I'm, I'm gonna keep working on it, plugging away. But I have tons of content, tons of painting tutorials and airbrush one one series, which I really hope people are liking. Uh, There's only been one episode so far, so yeah. But um, that's gonna be a series that I really hope somebody people get a lot out of and helps people with airbrushing. I'm not the most amazing airbrusher. Like, I'm not a pro, but I'm... Well, what's really a pro airbrusher? But still, I think people can get something from my videos, and that's why I make videos, is that I think I can help people, especially new people. Uh, airbrushing is one of those... <sighs> airbrushing is one of those things that people are very nervous about getting into um, due to the costs and, you know, it's a new tool and it, it's new paints and all this stuff. So if I can remove some of those things, that's ultimately why I started that ch the um, that's ultimately why I started that video series was to remove some of the skepticism and some of the tab like the you know the scariness from airbrushing. So. Okay, it was filmed a little while ago, so you'll see it looked definitely a younger Jay in them. I might refilm the intros and outros because they were filmed in my old workshop with um, yeah, you'll see older Jay for sure. Or I mean, was an old Jay, which is also a younger Jay. Random fact: today is the oldest you've ever been. Depressing facts with Jay. Uh, all right, let's get some Rune Fang Steel. Repeat this process quickly. Just a little bit of Rune Fang Steel. Bring out a bit of a shine. 
and then these guys will be done. Uh, so what I'm these neck runs obviously because they already have black. And it's a primer, but still. Um, so my black primer. Then I paint silver. Um, uh, after silver, I do golds. Golds. I'll airbrush a few green colors. Uh, usually, it's it's um, a little warp stone glow, mood green combination. Then maybe even a yellow or really heavily mixed, like mostly yellow and mood green. A little mood green to make it a little more green. And that's it. Airbrush these guys and then they'll be done. So as I said, next week they should be good and on the tabletop and then I'll assemble in the meantime, after that I'll assemble some more guys and repeat this process until Necrons are all done. Like my, um, like my Tyranids, you know? Actually, to be honest, I found another Carnifex. Uh, one of my old Carnifexes that I converted to a, a Turbogon. I found them recently, so I might go back after these guys and uh, just finish him up, get him again on the tabletop. That's hilarious. I have so many models that I can just lose a Carnifex. <laughs> Just focusing on the external areas that are really visible. And, uh, yeah. So, this, what are your plans this summer? What do you want to do? What are you excited for? What are... I do find, honestly, that um, you know, wargaming is still part of my life. I love wargaming. I love you know painting these guys, getting them all nice, and, and playing games, filming content. But it's becoming a smaller and smaller piece of my life, like it does with a lot of people. It's just time, man. It, time is of the essence. You know, it's always so limited, and you can only do so many things with your time. And I've been, I'm really happy. I am. I'm just doing things as well and enjoying life. And it makes me happy. You know, I'm, I'm still obviously setting some time aside for gaming and painting and all the stuff I love. Making videos for you all. Having fun. But I find that it's becoming a slightly smaller piece of my life. And you know what? That's okay. You know? That's okay. Uh, maybe we should paint... Some golds quickly. And then we'll finish there. Let's paint the golds on these three dudes. Uh, for the golds, I'll use... <laughs> you know what? I might use some hashed copper. Some copper would actually look really good. Yeah, that'd be a good pop to it. It has a really nice brightness to it. I love the, and it would be, it really make it pop, those, the horrific hieroglyphs. Okay. What else is new and exciting? I've power watched Game of Thrones. I finally saw Game of Thrones. Now I'm not gonna go triple zero for this. Um, zero, perhaps? Double zero? No, probably zero would suffice. Yeah. Um, I finally saw Game of Thrones. I've never watched Game of Thrones, and my friends are always like, hey, how come you've never seen Game of Thrones? And so I eventually, I got Crave TV, which is one of those you know, streaming services, um, and I've, Game of Thrones was one of the big things on it. I got it just, just after I got Crave TV, they started showing Game of Thrones on this, on the Crave TV. So I was like, okay, let's watch the Game of Thrones. And it was actually, I really like it. I'm not, I was never anti Game of Thrones or anything, but um, it was one of those shows that obviously you have HBO or you can buy the DVDs, but if you don't have HBO, you can't really watch it, right? So 
I just never watched it. And uh, I watched the first three seasons, and then I took a couple weeks away from it because they only had the first three seasons, and all of a sudden, last week they are like, oh, now the next three seasons are up. Now there's seven seasons so far of Game of Thrones. The eighth season is going to be up next year. So I still one, and but then I power watched the next three. And it was cool. Like, it, it's nice... I love power watching because then obviously you don't need to wait and wait and wait and wait. You get to like your spoil yourself in the sense that you can watch all the content, you know, very quickly and efficiently. You don't have to wait till, you know, months at a time and go, Oh, is he alive? Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Oh, nope. He's alive. Nope. He's dead. You know? So it was cool. But yeah, Game of Thrones. Of course, the whole time I had, every time I hear the theme song, again, I watched South Park before I watched Game of Thrones, so uh, I have the South Park version. I'm not going to sing it, of course, but uh, yeah, I have the South Park version of the theme song. Every time that the theme song here came on, I was like, that's all I heard was the South Park version. Thanks, South Park. Really does stand out well nicely. Good. Cool. See? And, uh. No, that's gonna be green. Got the gold's done. Another one. These guys aren't too hard. To, they're actually more. They're much harder to assemble than to paint, I find. The, the assembling doesn't. The assembling takes so long to make these guys. Definitely one of the yeah more complicated Necron models. <laughs> Have you guys watched any shows lately? Are you power watching any shows? These days, though, I do feel that. TV shows are running out of material, ideas, originality, and we live in a culture right now that's kind of obsessed with this, you know, euphoria of the past. So what are they doing? They're bringing back all the old shows, Will and Grace, Roseanne, even like Last Man Standing with Tim Allen's being brought back apparently. Uh, I thought it was kind of, I, I love the show Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And um, I'm really glad that, that, well, the show got canceled, but it got canceled and then bought by another network within like 24 hours. So that show will continue. Um, but I just feel like, and again, like every big movie is either a sequel or a spinoff or a reboot. Um, obviously, I loved, that being said, I loved um, Avengers. Infinity War, and I really loved, um, what did I see recently? Um, Deadpool 2. I love Deadpool 2. The, by far my favorite stinger or post credit scene of any movie I've ever seen ever. By far. Bar none. That was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. Deadpool 2. I think I loved, I think Deadpool 2 was more entertaining than Avengers, because Avengers was really long, it was dramatic, but uh, Deadpool 2 was just a lot of fun, because it's Deadpool. And the cameos were hilarious. Um, I haven't seen Solo yet, but once again, like, okay, now prequels. Um, I didn't see Solo this weekend, I was working. Uh, apparently people have very mixed reviews about it. Um, yeah, apparently like Donald Glover as Lando is the, is the standout, but, um, cool. I'll see that sometime. I do think people are kind of Star Wars out a little bit and it's different than, than Avengers because Avengers have so many personalities, but in 
Star Wars, there really aren't that many archetypes. There are just, you know... Yeah, and there's only so much they can do with prequels. And, the, you know, the, it's riddled with bad problems during production. So there we go. I will let the shade continue to dry on those guys. And then tonight, maybe a little later, repeat with the dry brushing and the golds on them. So we got those done. Look at that. Look at that. And then all I do is I'll grab an airbrush and airbrush insanely. Do some edging. Yeah. Cool. So I'll end here. So that concludes another episode of Painting with Jay. I hope you got some stuff done and painted your, you know, your models as well. And I hope you're having a, a productive 2018 so far and getting some painting done. By the way, happy birthday to my friends too. I think it's, yeah, your birthday's coming up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going to keep working on these Necron guys. And stay tuned for videos. Now that they're back weekly, Painting with Jay. We got to get our, we got to rid our world of unpainted models. Adam, you continue to miss spots. Gotta fix that. Well, stay tuned for more videos. And as always, this video is brought to you by all my Patreon subscribers. As you, if you really want to help my uh, my videos out, please check out the link in the description below my Patreon campaign. Uh, it really does help a lot. Stay tuned for more videos. And Slacks with Jay saying, happy painting with me.